Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing well. This video is a long time coming. I actually thought I had already shot this, but I hadn't. So it's a little bit late. It's time for the final round for the best fall niche fragrance of all time. The tournament that you guys decided the winner of. So I'm going to give you guys a quick recap of how the tournament went and then the final round in which one won the whole thing. So let's jump into it. And as of right now, I've actually got a spring tournament starting up, a spring designer best fragrance tournament that you guys are gonna be voting on. So make sure to check that out when it comes up. It'll be here in the very near future. And I'll try not to forget to do the final round. Ugh. Let's go ahead and start with the first round matchups so I can refresh your memory as to which fragrances were in this tournament and how everything played out up to this point. So this started off with eight fragrances and you guys were the ones that determined the fragrances. You voted and based off of which fragrances got the most votes, the top eight, they were placed into this tournament and then seeded according to how many votes they got. So the one that got the most votes was the number one seed, the second most votes, number two seed, so on and so forth. All right, so the very first matchup was the number one seed, Parfums de Marley Layton, against the number eight seed, Nishane Ani. And that one was not close at all. There were 3,900 votes and Layton absolutely crushed Ani to move into the second round. It was 78% to 22% in favor of Leighton, so not really close. Both of those fragrances are great. Ani is a fantastic vanilla fragrance, one of the most hyped uh, niche vanilla fragrances out there right now. But Leighton, of course, is just a monster as far as pulling compliments and the versatility factor and everything. So it pretty easily moved on. In the second matchup, we had number five by Killian Black Phantom up against number four, Tom Ford Tobacco Bunny. Now I realize that some people out there are gonna say, wait, 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 Tom Ford, private blend, that's not technically niche, but it received a whole mess load of votes and it's easier to put that into a niche tournament than it is a designer tournament because it's kind of out of place price-wise going up against designers. So yes, I know most people would say that's a designer, but that's the reason it was here. 4,500 votes in that matchup and Tobacco Vini won 59% to 41%. Now I'm not gonna argue with that at all. Tobacco Vini is awesome. Fantastic scent. That sweet pipe tobacco that's in there. Absolutely love it. In the third matchup, we had number three, Herod from Parfums de Marley going up against number six, Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkshawn. Now this one I actually thought was gonna be really close. The MFK, Grand Soir, that fragrance is really hyped, really loved by lots of people. And it got annihilated. 4,200 votes were cast in that matchup. 69% went to Herod. So that one, I was way off. I thought that was gonna be neck and neck. I thought that was gonna be one of those ones that was like 52% to 48% or something like that. Nah. And then matchup four was between the second seed, Serge off Naxos, and the number seven seed, Red Tobacco from Mancera. And this was the closest matchup in the entire first round, 51% to 49%. And Naxos barely pulled it off. There were 3,800 votes cast, and in the battle of tobaccos, red tobacco just barely, barely came up short, almost had a big upset. That moved us into the next round. Leighton was matched up against Tobacco Vini, and Leighton won pretty handily. 64% to 36% with 7,500 votes cast, so Leighton moved into the finals. In the second matchup, there were 5,900 votes cast, and that was between Herod and Naxos. Once again, tobacco, tobacco. And this time around, Naxos got crushed. 71% to 29% in favor of Herod, which set us up with the final of Parfums de Marley Layton against Parfums de Marley Herod. Yeah, double PDMs. That says a lot about how popular Parfums de Marley has become over the years, that in this tournament with all these heavy hitters, Parfums de Marley, swept across the board and had two fragrances in the finals. There were 8,100 votes cast in the finals matchup between Leighton and Herod. And which one do you guess won? Leighton, easily. Leighton got 70% of the vote, absolutely crushed Herod, and really Leighton crushed every single fragrance it came up against. The one that was the closest to it was Tobacco Vini. But like I said before, that was 64% to 36%, which is really not that close. So in your opinion, dear viewers who cast votes, 
Parfums de Marley Layton is the best niche fragrance for fall of all time. Or more realistically, the best niche fragrance for fall as of when this video was shot. <laughs> so that means Layton is going to be retired into the Gents Sense Hall of Fame thing and not going to take part in any future tournaments. Good job, Layton. You little pat. Good job. This one has apple, vanilla, cardamom, lavender, and sandalwood as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this fragrance is, like I said before, an enormous compliment puller. And I feel like that's really what just pushed this one right through the competition and crushed them. The compliment factor and the versatility. This is a fragrance that my wife absolutely adores, completely in love with this fragrance. There's also a flanker called Leighton Exclusive which added on some animalic notes, gave it some darkness, some depth. Uh, that one I do own. I don't like it as much as the original Leighton though. I know that some people will disagree and they'll say Leighton Exclusive, that's much classier, it's more complex, more interesting. I just think this one overall for what the fragrance is trying to do is the better one of the two. This one is warm and sweet right from the get-go, good amount of spice in here, ultra appealing. Some people have compared it a little bit to being like, uh, a niche luxury version of Boss Bottled's DNA, or I guess the idea behind Boss Bottled, which is that apple and uh, spicy sweetness. For me, it's not at all a surprise to see Layton come through and win this thing. When it was the number one seed, it just, it blew all the other fragrances away as far as how many votes it got to get it into the tournament. And knowing how popular the fragrance is and how many people have this one or want to own this one, I thought it was a pretty safe bet that this was going to win the whole thing. And after seeing how some of the other matchups played out, how close they were, and how much this absolutely crushed Ani, I had a, a really strong feeling that it was going to win. Especially when it went up in the finals against Herod, which no offense to Herod, but this is not the fragrance that Parfums de Marley is known for at this point. This one is, and so I didn't really expect this to be able to take this one down. Here it is a really nice tobacco fragrance though. So if you're looking for a, a high quality tobacco fragrance with a good amount of things going on, including an interesting osmanthus note, absolutely check Hair it out. Cinnamon, tobacco, vanilla, incense, some of the main notes in here, and it's a, a great fragrance, really good for fall and winter. It just, it just can't hang with Leighton, at least as far as popularity goes. Because when you talk about popularity as far as men's niche fragrances go, it's pretty much Aventus and then Leighton nowadays. So yeah, Parfums de Marley, Layton, greatest fall niche fragrance as of this video, retired to the Jensen's Hall of Fame. And I realized just before doing this video that I had never reviewed Parfums de Marley Layton. So I might do that in the near future. I didn't realize that I had never reviewed it. There we go, guys. That wraps up the fall niche tournament. I have a spring tournament starting in a couple days. That's gonna be for designer fragrances. Make sure to check that one out and get your votes cast for that. Eight new contenders, and you guys are gonna decide which one's best. Parfums of Marley Layton, you are the champion. I'm not gonna play We Are the Champions because then this video will immediately get a copyright strike, but you can listen to it in your head and then have this little bottle going along with it or something. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the tournament results in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.